I did say earlier today there could be uh, impact on the delivery schedules. We cannot exclude that, but uh, obviously at this point we have no details. And also said the priority for us obviously is that we keep the, the fleet in service, 39 aircraft flying, or get those who are on the ground right now up in the air as soon as possible. And what do you have to do to, uh, to get them flying and to keep them flying? Do you have to yeah. replace part of the engine? Well, uh, the good news is uh, eight days into the investigation, uh, Rolls-Royce has uh, made uh, uh, good progress. Uh, also, the European authorities, the EASA, has put out yesterday an airworthiness um, uh, note. And, and, and that what it says is that engines need to be checked. They need to be checked every 20 flight cycles. And uh, that is important. And that means with these inspections, we can keep the, the fleet flying and get the aircraft back into the, in, into the air. And Rolls has also said this, this morning, they have key conclusions right now. Um, and, and one of them is that the, uh, uh, there is a failure of a specific component in the turbine area of the engine. And that caused oil fire, which led to the release of the, of the, of the disc and what we call an uncontained failure and uh, that they uh, intend to replace the relevant module uh, in, a, in a replacement modification program uh, in, the, in the near future. Mm. So all those engines that are currently in service will be modified uh, by Rolls-Royce so that that part uh, is changed? Well, you know, safety is our utmost concern, the utmost concern of Airbus, of, uh, of Rolls and of, of the airlines, and, and we will do what is necessary to make these engines as safe as possible, there's no doubt about it. But I can't speak about the specifics now. That obviously is uh, in the court of uh, Rolls-Royce. Now, when we look at uh, the engines that uh, you currently have in service, how many planes are we talking about at the moment? How many of the ones that are currently in service are we talking about? I think currently we have in service uh, 21 um, uh, aircraft with uh, Rolls-Royce engines, and all these engines are now regularly uh, checked, inspected according to the inspection schedule that the EASA, the European Authority, has put out yesterday. Now, you said there's going to be fewer deliveries next year. Um, can I ask you about an actual figure as to how many planes you're planning to deliver next year and how has that figure changed? Well, I mean, I said uh, there could be an impact. Obviously, we'll try to mitigate that as, as much as possible. When I say an impact on the delivery schedule, that does not necessarily mean that we will deliver fewer planes by the end of the year. But the schedule, the, the date of delivery could shift according to the uh, modifications, the support we, we all have to bring to the airlines right now. Uh, now, what about the, uh, uh, the planes that have got the other engine, the G Pratt engine? Will they be affected? Will there be any delays on their delivery times? I don't expect that, no. OK. Um, and can you tell us, uh, we've, had, we've seen that uh, China Southern and Korean are both expected to get their A380s next year. Will that just be one plane for each of them or more? No, I mean, <laughs> again, I can't say, give you any details at that at point, but uh, believe me, we will work very hard that these new customers uh, get the, the planes they are expecting for 2011 uh, next year.